David Pera is a legendary wildlife filmmaker. He's our DOP. He's doing most of our animal footage. He worked for many years at the ABC Natural History Unit and has worked in the Galapagos, Antarctica, all over the world. A lot of filming animals successfully is trying to get into the head of the animal, trying to see how it views the world, what it's frightened of, what it's not frightened of, and its daily rhythm. So you slowly build up this picture of the life of the animal, and my job is to capture that life. There's a, um, a wombat, and it's young. You get to them by stages. You just go a little way, get a bit of footage, go a bit closer, get a bit more footage. And they'll eventually sense that I'm there, but unless you do it slowly, they won't accept you as part of the landscape. Particularly the young. The young are very, very skittish. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to go. The other day we were just sitting on the top of the hill and suddenly one wombat just charged at another one and chased it down and tried to grab it by the scruff of the neck. Well, this is behaviour I've never seen before. So you sit back and look at wombats for maybe 10 hours and you see nothing and in a split instant this happens and you've got to be ready. Oh, this looks good. Uh, we're just packing to go down to Return Point to film some wombats. This is our cut down small load. The rangers uh, from Mariah are kindly shipping it all down to Return Point. There are no facilities down there whatsoever, so we've got to essentially take everything we need. That's the most important thing to take down. David's coffee pot. It gets very grumpy without it. So one of the big challenges we have filming devils here is they're largely nocturnal animals and they actually range over quite large distances. So this spotlighting expedition we're on now is one way that we can potentially spot a devil at night. Unfortunately, we never know exactly where they're going to be. They were here last night, but they may not be here again tonight. Mm, I've just got a wombat in the frame at the moment. We spotted a couple of devils at the edge of the forest line. We've had to use a number of techniques to try and film them. One of these is setting up infrared cameras. So we've set up several motion activated cameras. One of these we set up on a burrow in which the scientists had tracked one of the devils with a radio collar. So we'll see over the next few weeks whether we actually pick up some devils on these cameras.